Hey Arctic Warriors, what's up? Arctic Phoenix here. I don't really talk boxing too much, but let's discuss an elephant in the room. And that elephant's name is Jake Paul. Seriously, this guy isn't a real boxer. Oh, who did you just beat? Anderson Silva? Not saying Silva sucks in the MMA far, but he's past his prime. And also, he also beat Ben Ashton. Again, past his prime MMA fighter. Do you see a trend here with Jake Paul? He's too scared to fight a real boxer. And, and then one time he was slated to fight a real boxer, that boxer got shamed because he was overweight and cheating. And Jake Paul got off scot-free. You know, we clearly knew that Jake Paul was a coward for accepting a fight to begin with. Who would have guessed? Gotta, gotta protect the image of one of the most overrated, undeserving boxers of all time, or at least in recent memory. Seriously, if I were to face Prasta Prime athletes in marathons or 5Ks, 10Ks, People call me out for it. They said, oh, this Arctic Phoenix guy is facing Bassett Prime athletes and races. And glowing about it. But any slack for Jake Paul or any backlash for him? No. He, he's the greatest fighter of all time. He's as good as Muhammad Ali. No, he's not. I have no respect for him. And apparently a lot of people don't either. And they're right to think that. Jake Paul's not a real boxer, and I hope whoever faces him next, especially Canelo Alvarez, because Paul is calling him out, just, like, he needs to be knocked down a few pegs. Thank you, have a nice day. Sure to like, comment, subscribe.